Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm still Daniel. I am Rex in space. <laughs> <laughs> so quite the uh, quite the uh, series of events that have happened. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, though, we're still only at half power. What we've discovered so far is that the bunghole is a dick. <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, I think Maybe. we need to keep feeding it whiskey. This is a very specific whistle pig rye, single barrel, 10 year old, Man. a gift from Stephen Christel. Stephen Christel, you magnificent. Bastard. <laughs> 10 year old, single barrel, right. ringing in right. at 57.7% .7 alcohol. Good morning to you. Oh, it is Good morning. Good, sir. It is so morning It right is, now. it is. You know, we're going to compare this to just a standard offering of Whistle Pig. Okay. Okay? Now, on the nose. Oh. Dabble in this. Grass honey. Beautiful nose on this. Grass honey. Just oh. all day long. Glorious. Almost green tea-like. Green tea? Well, like you know what it reminds me of? Milk. On Actually, you ever have, what's the little um, Japanese, like, is it mochi? The little frozen, yeah, I think so. A little doughy frozen ice cream. ice cream things. Yeah, it reminds me of green tea mochi. Oh, on the nose, yeah, like from Trader Joe's. I could see that. Yeah, uh, and then hidden underneath that, it's a little thread of sweetened oak. Mm-hmm. Just under underpinning the whole thing. Oh, oh, dude, that's that's I'm Christmas. Still, I was gonna say I might have to get. I mean, you know what? I, is this? I'm, is, I'm still on the nose because the nose is that good. No, the <laughs> it takes that. It keeps it. It doesn't diminish the nose, uh -huh. but it develops it. I have a theory. And it's, it's clove and orange and cinnamon. It's Christmas. Do you know how they say, like, 80 or 90% of taste happens through smell? Oh, right. How much better could you taste if you poured whiskey up your nose? No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Look, I could go... That may some... be the kind of daring whiskey science that earns us an upgrade, Daniel. No. Because we're bare bones right now. Here's the thing. Bare bones! Here's the thing, Rex. Dealing with something that sensitive, that brute force. I'm, an, I'm a whiskey explorer. <laughs> Is that what you call it? No, take a sip of this. It's and going then, to change no, your life forever. The more you go back to the nose, mm -hmm. right? the more you go back to the nose, some fruitiness starts to show up. I haven't tasted yet. It reminds me more of the strawberries when they aren't overly sweet and they're a little tart. All right, now I'm going in. Oh. Yeah, there's a cinnamon in here. There's clove, there's citrus. Yeah, there's that I was not expecting at all, based on that nose. Where's the whistle? Here it is. Mm. Do you know how exciting it is for me to be able to get to the other whiskeys now, mm. when we're comparing things? It's glorious. So already we're looking at a different color here. Yeah, well. This one. Proofed down. Proofed down. Not proofed down. Okay. So this one's ringing in at 100. So, so it's not proofed down a ton. So what was the cast? The cast strength? 37 point something. So 115.4 proof. This is 100. So it's not that different in proof. Yeah. But very different color. Uh, yeah. And they're both, in theory, 10 years old at least. Uh huh. No, the, um, this is more grass and less honey. Mm hmm. On the, the nose. Smell that. More grass, less honey. Smell, this is the. Yes, this is the classic whistle pig tin. Okay. Oh, yeah. You see what I mean? A little drier. Yeah. There's some type of English tea. Now I'm coming back to this and it's a little more wicker in the nose, this one. Oh, you still freak, you're throwing down the wicker. I'm digging this, man. Yeah? Yeah, I really am. All right, yeah. I'm gonna try a sip. I hit the cast strength one more time. Whistle pig rye is still good, but this. So what you do, take a sip and then it goes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> even the classic tin. No, it's still great. Beautiful. But this one's a good 20% no, improvement. Yeah, this has, well, in terms of, of if you want added nuance and complexity. Yes. As a, a few more layers. Yeah, it's it, this one's that. a little more uh, approachable. And... Yeah, 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 yeah. But, Man. Beautiful. All right, all right. So, well done, pig. one to add a little bit of water. Yeah. No, I don't know if they've ever supplied, I don't know if there's any food stations in here that we've been able to turn on. I don't know yet. It's but too, too dark in that corner over there. They say... Hobbit meat is both tender and delicious. <laughs> All right, I added a little water. Mm -hmm. uh, that's there you the, go. That's the really good sound. A dash of water we added. A dash. Sounds like the most pitiful sound oh, in the world, it, uh, but it's the best sound in the world. Uh, uh, <laughs> it really is pitiful. 
Uh, uh, <laughs> well, no, whiskey is so good. That's it. That's the official tasting note of a whiskey that's too good to even describe. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a meme. It brought it closer to the original for sure in the nose. More of the grass, the sweetness subsides in the nose. Mm -hmm. And now it's actually more sweet than it was before. Yeah, it is less spicy, more sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm doing AB. Now, the Whistle Peg Tin, you are well served anytime you mm -hmm. reach in for a delicious and tasty rye, mm. and you want to prove it's not cask, but it's not right. Yeah. It's not a 40% whiskey either. This has a tremendous amount of nice things going on. Right. But the cask, uh, the cask, uh, like single barrel releases like yes. this. Glorious. Uh, oh. Oh. Daniel. Yes. I think now is an appropriate time mm -hmm. for us to talk about the uh, the whiskey wall that <gasps> the, the cosmic bunghole is guardian of. Oh my god, I think we might the have cosmic found one bunghole. to put on it. He's there to be guardian of the feature wall. Yes. Now, what did we say we wanted to do with what we wanted this on the feature, feature wall? wall? Yeah. Was because we talked about doing it about a clear yeah. representation yeah. of a category on each shelf. Okay. Right? right. A rye. Right. Uh, an Isla. Right. A bourbon. Right. And so on. Sure. But it also needs to be something that is reasonably accessible. Accessible? Yeah. Of these two, it'd probably have to be the classic if we picked one. I think it'd have to be the classic because it's accessible. Right. It, it, we think is an amazing example of that category. Yes. Full stop. An amazing example of that category yeah. until it can be replaced. Until. Something else comes along. That's a better that we think perfect. Is better. Basically, if you said I want to introduce somebody to rye, right. you should be able to grab the rye off of this shelf, right. and it would be a reasonable introduction to an entire category. Well, hold on, introduction though. No, no, not introductory. I don't mean beginner level. Right. I mean like it's representative of the category of rye. So quintessential. Yes. Okay. Not necessarily. No, I don't mean proof. beginner. Okay. I rye. think this is shelf worthy. I do. Shelf worthy. And there's someone over here. Kurt Miller, who keeps sending us rye whiskeys, <laughs> is gonna be the rye whiskey guy. Cheers to you, Kurt Miller. I, I, honestly, I was expecting an upgrade. To, I think. So, what the hell, bunghole? Oh, <laughs> come on. I take it back. I take it back. That's, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Eddie Stafford wrote, Hey, did the guys pick a date for the Bastards Ball for 2020 yet? We did. We, it was the only date still available on the calendar where there weren't weddings. Okay. And it is... September 12th. September 12th, everyone. September 12th. It, Saturday, yes. September 12th. And it should be a lot of fun. Jeremy Loranger. Well, MBs, it was too easy to do dry week this time. Due to some large complications, my daughter arrived eight weeks early on oh. Tuesday. As of today, everything is finally settled down and looking up. Thank God. So please join me in having a dram in honor of my new daughter, Lucian. Two pounds, four ounces. Hot Cheers. damn. Lucian. Cheers. And you and yours, Jeremy. So. That's a great rye. Yeah, yeah. If you just want to crank up the sweetness yeah. just a little bit. And the spice. Water. All the nice spices. Yeah. Was that, was that Kung Fu? <gasps> you just learned a new skill. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink, drink with, with us! us. <laughs>